Hey everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to the first ever video of Zach Talks Tech. Today I'm going to show you my rig, so let's get to it. This is the Corsair Vengeance C70 Gunmetal Black Edition. Inside the motherboard, this is the Intel i7 3770K overclocked to 4.5 GHz. This is the Cooler Master Saden 240M water cooling unit. We got the GeForce GTX Titan, which is glowing wonderfully. We got the 850 watt supply by Corsair. As well as, uh, not to mention, the Asus Republic of Gamers Maximus V Formula motherboard. On the right side, we got the uh, Samsung x 24 um, DVD writer. We got the Western Digital 1TB Caviar Black over here. And we got the Kingston, you can see probably the Kingston HyperX 126GB um, solid state drive. And we also have a Western Digital 1TB My Passport external hard drive mm, so back to here we got the um, what's this <laughs> the Corsair Dominator Platinum 8x2 gigabytes so that's 16 gigabytes of um, RAM over here we have this marvelous screen which is the Dell Ultrasharp 23 inch if you want the model number it's Dell U2312H Ultra Sharp LED TV by Dell. Uh, for peripherals, I got just a basic Sonic Gear speakers over here. Sonic Gear with a subwoofer behind. I got the Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2013 Edition. I have the Razer Death Adder Black Edition. And headphones, I just use the um, my PS3 Bluetooth headphone switch. Is compatible with um, your PC. It runs in uh, 7.1 Dolby surround sound. So that's about it. So at the same time, what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna run some benchmarking. Um, we're gonna play Bioshock Infinite. We're gonna play Assassin's Creed 3, Battlefield 3, and some less demanding games such as uh, SimCity and Saints Row 3rd so let's get to it all right here guys so we're gonna start up with Battlefield 3 first so we're gonna play multiplayer everything is on high although there's no um, sorry everything's on ultra but there's no v-sync um, the reason why I'm not going to record this with an inbuilt recorder like Handycam or fraps because there's going to be a drop in frame rate and you're going to play in window mode uh, and I just want to let y'all see what the Titan can do and um, the full aspects of the game uh, the, the graphics and stuff like that so yeah we're going to go now and let's start the the camera itself is running at 60 frames per second, so it's not going to be big of a deal. This is quite smooth the way I'm standing, so. So you can see the, the graphics is pretty spot on. Um, everything's quite smooth. A lucky shot though. I'm not going to show much of single player, though, as much as I wanted to. Um, just we get that being multiplayer is a bit more demanding. 
though there are some sequences in the um, in the campaign which I like to show, but uh, I'm not really into the uh, campaign part. So I'm just gonna leave it at there. I wanna kill this guy. So yeah, other than that, you can see that everything looks very nice and clean. And yeah, I'm dying a lot, so yeah, I'm gonna stop there. Just the one more try. So you can see the monitor itself is quite cool. Um, it's really spot on and uh, it, looks, it looks great <clears throat> right now. <laughs> Alright, so that's about it. We're gonna move on to um, Bioshock Infinite. Okay. Alright, so the next one I'm gonna show is Bioshock Infinite, which is uh, running at Ultra again. Let's just uh, show you the specs once again with the GTX Titan. You know that I do get a few drops in FPS when they're loading the levels, but other than that, it looks very spot on. Full screen, 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080s, so it's 1080p. Anti-aliasing on everything on Ultra, post processing it's um. I'll take alternate because we're using DirectX and other than that everything is on yeah. okay. so let's just have a two minute game and then yeah, we start. so we'll just continue where we left off
Gol. Alright, so that's about it for Bioshock Infinite.